Yo, what's up guys, it's Technology L back here and this video is gonna be really quick and simple. I'll show you how can you make your old boring looking taskbar to completely transparent. After it becomes transparent, your wallpaper will be visible through it. So in case you are putting up some live wallpapers, it's gonna be a big plus point. This video is not just specific for Windows 11 users. This thing works with Windows 10, Windows 8 as well. But the only difference is that in previous edition of Windows, you could simply go to your taskbar settings or head over to system personalization and then simply adjust your taskbar accent color as well as make it transparent. But Windows 11 is missing this feature and today we'll get rid of it. Simply head over to your Microsoft Store. In case you don't have a genuine Windows, just head over to Google Chrome and get this app downloaded. The application's name is Translucent TV. Simply head over and install it on your system. Once installed, simply open it up and there you are good to go. Your taskbar should immediately turn transparent. You can also adjust the settings, just go to your translucent TV icon from the drawer and then you can just set it manually. So for desktop, if I set it to opaque, it will turn opaque. If I set it to, if I push it to acrylic, it will give an acrylic sort of a feel, but it's not working perfectly. What you need to do is simply head over to all of them and set it to clear. Once it's on clear, your transparent taskbar is ready for use. You can open up any other window and you will find that your taskbar is still transparent. And another part is that windows can even be dragged through the taskbar now. So yes, it's really simple. You can just head over and install Translucent TV. In case your Translucent TV is not working, what you need to do is simply head over to the link in description and download this folder, Zvive. Extract it to your drive C. Make sure the folder name is Zvive. And then you need to head over to CMD and then simply put in these commands. I have also made a dedicated video where I've shown how to fix this issue. It is occurring with systems which have Windows 11 with newer updates. Previously, it used to work fine with Windows 11 as well. So that's all for this video. Hope you found this interesting. Make sure to drop a like and stay subscribed as we keep bringing us such videos every week. Thanks for watching.